Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm showing you how I design my layouts in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so if you recall in my last video, we uploaded the um, uh, files that we were gonna work with. Um, into design space and so I have them all here so first thing I need to do is click on upload because that's where I have them most recently and I am going to start adding them to my canvas so I'm gonna select them all all the ones from that kit and then I'm going to add to canvas and it takes a little bit for them to load and that's normal, it's, they're big files, right? So, um, there we go. Now this originally um, was built like a long time ago, right? Like the, the files were created. I noticed when we clicked on the um, PDF for this one it talked about using sure cuts a lot so that's probably like 2011 times and we are in 2022 so these files are like 10 years old so they don't they aren't already layered together which is fine um, I'm just gonna ungroup them all so that we can uh, move things around so first thing that I want to do is to um, layer the things that need to go together. So for example, um, this little guy here, the elephants, right? Excuse me, I want to ungroup this and put the little elephant on top of his um, mat. And then I'm just gonna group him again. Group, okay. So same thing with this big elephant. I'm gonna click ungroup and I'm gonna move the blue on top of the brown. And I'm gonna regroup. And I'm gonna hit group. Then I'm going to look at my stars. I could layer the stars, but I probably won't. Uh, so I'm just gonna set those to the side. I am going to look at my flowers. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup these and then I'm gonna put them together. So I'm gonna take the pink on top, layer it on top of the brown. I'm going to take the green and layer it on top of the green. Actually, uh, you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna put this here and the yellow on top and the white just is for that little um, piece to show through there. That's all that's for. Now I am going to put this leaf together and then I'm going to group it. Oops, well, that's not what I want. So I'm going to select it. Oh, again, not what I wanted. I'm going to have to move it a little further away. That's all right. Okay, so I'm going to group it and I'm going to select it sorry and group it and then I can duplicate it because I kind of want two of those to go here oh hang on I forgot to group my flower and let me move my leaf first and it doesn't have to be perfect on here because it doesn't come out like this right so it's still gonna cut all the individual layers. So it, you don't have to worry about perfection, that's for sure. Okay, so there we go. We got our uh, flower grouped. Now we're gonna put these little things and I'm gonna turn this one in here. And that's how I want my flower to look. So then I'm gonna select that and I'm going to group it. I have more leaves here. I'm just gonna set that aside for a second. I have this heart, this pink heart, so I'm gonna ungroup. I'm gonna stack it on top. Oh, yep. And then I'm gonna select it and group it. 
And I'm going to do the same for these ones. Ungroup. This goes on here. And then this goes on top. The white's just so that that little um, highlight piece is sh shining through. And group. Um, the swirl stays the same. The title, I'm going to stack it so that it shows up as intended. And there we have it. And then I'm going to select it all and group. Okay. So now for the time being, I'm just going to slide everything over a little bit so that it's kind of out of my way. Oh, I forgot to group these ones. Ungroup and stack it. And oops, now what did it do? Stacked it too close to everything else. It will select other things if you stack them too close. So just move them around until they work for you. Select and group. Okay, so then this goes back here and this goes back here and this goes back here. Okay, so now I want to create myself a 12 by 12 background so that I can get a view of what my layout is gonna look like. So I'm gonna click shapes and I'm gonna select a square and then I'm going to type in here where it says width I'm going to just type 12 and it gives me a 12 by 12 square. Now I want to be able to see my whole layout all at once. So I'm going to reduce the size down here where it says 100%. I'm going to reduce it to 50% so that I can see that. Okay. And I did not move my stuff over enough. Uh, it needs to be past the 12. I should have known that. Past the 12 inch mark in order for it to kind of be out of your way for you to put in your base page. Okay, so I'm going to slide all that over past the 12 inch mark. Move my little elephants. So cute. And then I'm going to put this back up where I can see it. Okay, so this is my background. Um, do I want to select a background color? Sure, why not? Okay, so I'm going to go up here. Now, what do I want my background color to be? To be, let's try some, maybe a purple background, maybe a yellow background. I don't know. Let's go with that for now. Okay. So then, the first piece that I have up here is, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot a step. Okay. So then, I want to take this square, and I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to say send to back so that everything I move is going to be on top of the square. Yeah. Okay. So now I have my little border piece. I think I'm just going to put that up here and then I'm going to, do I want to duplicate that? Let's try it. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to flip it. Uh, flip vertical. There we go. And then I'm going to slide it down here. Okay. Now I want my cute little elephants. Oh, you know what? I should put my photo in here first. Okay. So the photo that I have to work with is a square photo. So it's a four by four. So I am going to create another shape and select square. And I'm going to make it 4.25 because that's how big my photo mat will be. And I'm just going to change that to white. And here we go. So I think I want that about here. Um, oops. Sorry. Distracted here for a second. Okay. So then I kind of want, let me see, I think I want the title at the top, let's put this up here, but I want it a lot bigger than that, right? So something like that. And 
and I think I want the stars. Okay, so do I want to stack these stars? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup those and I'm going to stack one on top of the other. I think I'm going to want more stars than just the one. So I'm going to highlight it. Nope, not going to work. Move these guys out of my way. And then try again. Select and group. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to duplicate that a couple times because I'm going to want three maybe of those. And I'm going to put one bigger star kind of in here. And I'm going to move my title to the front. So I'm going to right click it and say bring to front so that it's on top of my star. And I want my star to be a bit smaller. I'm going to put it like right up in here. And there. Okay. Now I also want one of these swirls. So I'm going to duplicate the swirl. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to flip it. Flip horizontal so that it can be back here. Send backward. And send backward. There we go. So it's kind of in behind everything. Now on this side, I want my heart shape. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to duplicate that and put a smaller one kind of here, but twist it this way. And Hmm. That's not quite what I, would, what I had imagined, but maybe I'll go this way instead. Uh, there we go. Cute. Okay, now I'm going to um, duplicate this again. And I'm going to shrink this one a bit. And twist it a bit. And then I'm going to put it here. And send it back. Oh, not quite that far. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay, so I got my little title made. And I got my photo on there. Okay, now I need my elephants. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So the, I want the auntie one in the front and the baby one behind following behind because she's gonna want to be like her auntie she's got a cool young auntie it's gonna be awesome and then I want um, down here I kind of want a you know what I'm gonna take the star out and I'm gonna put a heart this heart in place and there we go and I'm going to twist it a bit I think I just want hearts up here I don't want the star and then I'm going to just bring this down a bit and maybe this could be a bit smaller there we go Okay, so then I also would like um, the flower to go on to um, like the corner of my photo. I think I'll put it down here because I can see that there's some space in my photo. So I'm going to bring to front and I want it to be a bit bigger than that. There we go. And I'm going to want my swirl down here as well. And oops. I'm going to twist it, shrink it up a bit. There we go. There, that's cute. Okay. I really like that. Okay. And then I'm going to, um, I think I'm actually going to delete these stars. I don't need them. I think they were for the boy version anyway. And do I need this? I'm trying to think if there's anywhere that I want it to go. 
I don't think so. I think that's pretty cute just the way it is. Okay, so this is what I want my layout to look like. I am thinking that I actually don't want this flipped this way because it is not what I want. I think I'm going to end up putting, um, let's try what it looks like the other way. Oh yeah, that's cute. So that they're kind of standing on it. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to leave this blank for some journaling. I might shrink this guy just a bit. Bring him down. And then shrink the baby just a bit. Okay. Now, do I want to cut these all in? Okay, so first of all, I don't want all of this to be the colors that it is. Okay, so I am going to go up here where it says color sync. Excuse me. And um, one of the things you need to watch for when you're importing files like this is like the white, for example. I have one, two, three, four, five different shades of white. So I'm just going to move them all into one so that I can't they'll cut all on one sheet otherwise that's gonna ask you for a new white piece of paper every cut which is silly right okay then I don't want this guy to be blue so I'm going to change him to pink and I'm gonna make him the same pink as the title piece up here okay so there's that and then this is a darker pink. I'm good with that. Um, I do want these to be two different greens so that when I layer them on top of each other, they will show up that way. Now, do I want all of this to be brown? Not really. So I'm going to select the um, top title piece here, or border, sort of, not title, border piece here. Words are hard, guys. Okay, and I'm going to change it to gray. Okay, now what else do I want to be gray? Well, I'm gonna want my other border piece to be gray now. I'm gonna want the backgrounds of my elephants to be gray. I think I'm going to change my swirls to be this yellow color that is inside the flower. I think that will be cute. And where's the other one? There it is. There we go. Um, I want my hearts to all be pink hearts. Um, is this a top layer? Yes. Okay. And then my background hearts, these ones here, I want those to be white. Okay. So I'm going to, this is blocking your vision, isn't it? Sorry about that. Okay, so then I want this one also to be white. See that? Okay, so now my hearts on either side are the same color. Um, I could also add in some purple or some blue somewhere, maybe. I want my title. Do I want my title to be blue? Or maybe I want, ooh, do I want my swirls to be blue? Let's see. Okay, let's try that. So I'm going to move all the swirls into the blue category. Maybe I'll put my um, flower center into that category as well. Okay, so baby blues. Hey, okay. now do I like them better blue? I don't know. I kind of liked them yellow, but there is blue in my photo, so I think I'm going to stick with the blue and just make it a softer blue when I pick my paper. Then my uh, title here, so my letter B's are also um, brown, and I don't really want them to be brown, so what color should I make them? I might go with gray. Let's 
Let's see how that looks. And the more colors that you add to your layout, the more sheets of cardstock or patterned paper you're gonna have to run through your machine. So that's something to consider as well. Um, mm -hmm. And now I feel like I want my borders to be a different color. So, let's see if I can and this is like something you don't have to do on here because you can do it when you um, like choose your papers or whatever. But I like to kind of have an idea of what I'm going to look for. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to change this to like a teal color. I like that better. And then I'm going to move all of these to the teal color. There uh, we go. There. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna change my borders to purple. Um, or do I want them teal? Hmm. Yep, that's what I want. Okay, so this, Again, like I said, this part is blank because this is where my journaling is going to go. And I think we are all set. So that is how... Um, oh, I forgot a step. So don't forget, you have to save, right? So now I want to save this project. It's going to ask me to title the project. So I'm going to type Baby Mine. And I'm not adding it to a collection. And I'm going to save... Okay, project saved successfully, so that is kind of the last step. So I clicked on new project, I brought in the images I wanted to use, I grouped the layers, I created a background, I created a photo mat, I placed and sized the items onto the page the way that I want them to look, because now that I know that this is a 12 by 12 sheet, I know how big I want these things. I don't have to like be like, this is going to be a three inch flower. No, I, I put them on here. I just adjust them with this, uh, right? To see like where I want it. And that's perfect for me. So before I cut, I'm going to close this. So if you go back to this layers tab, okay, so see here how it says like, ah, this is too big. We can't cut 12 by 12. So I just close it. So it's blind, and I also don't need it to cut the, um, what do you call that thing? Photo mat for me, I can do that with my trimmer. So I'm gonna close that as well. So that when I, I click make it, it's going to show me all of the different color papers that I want. Now let's say on this part, I want to, um, cut it out on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper because um, that's cheaper, right? So I'm just going to move all of this stuff over so that it fits within this eight and a half kind of boundary, okay? So that when I put my eight and a half sheet on here, it's going to fit. The other way I can do that is to um, put it up here and then put it um, horizontally so that it ends at 11. Okay, so that's how I would do that. If, let's say for this green one, I just need a tiny scrap and this tells me like how big of my scrap do I need, right? I just need it to be this two by two square to cut that out, right? Um, so I can grab that out of my scrap bin. I don't need to go and grab a 12 inch piece of paper. Um, my borders, I could do on eight and a half by 11. I would just have to turn it sideways, right? Uh, oh no, because it's 11 and a half. Never mind. I lied. That needs to be a 12 inch piece. But I could probably find a 12 by 6 inch piece in my scrap bin. Um, then the two different kinds of pink. They look an awful lot alike on here, but when I choose them, they will not look the same. Okay. Now I'm just thinking something. I'm going to go back a sheet. Uh, cancel. And I'm wondering if, because I have 
green leaves here, do I want my swirls to be green also? So I'm going to go back to Color Sync and try that and see if I like that because the leaves are the only green thing on there and I'm thinking maybe it'll be um, cool to have the greenery like that. Okay. So that's more how I think I'm going to print it, cut it, whatever you want to call it. All right. So that's, I think, everything for how I set up my things to be ready to cut. Now, I don't have a great system for like setup for showing you the actual cutting part, but there are a lot of tutorials uh, online that show you how to use your Cricut to cut and people with much better setups than I have for uh, recording that. So if you need to know how to use your machine to cut, um, go find a tutorial from somebody that has the setup because I'm just going to, from here, I'm going to end this episode and when I come back, I'll have all of the pieces cut out onto mats, okay? So I'm gonna click make it, right? And I'm gonna pick all of these things, move them to where I want them so that I can cut um, on scrap pieces of paper or eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper and find what I need and then cut it all out. So um, yeah, and then to keep cutting through, you just click continue. You have to hook up your machine if you don't have Bluetooth. Um, yeah, but there's much better tutorials online. I, I, I couldn't do it justice, so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm going to cut it out and I'll come back with my um, pieces on the mats. All right. Um, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click the like button to give me a thumbs up. Hit the show more button under the description if you want to find these files from Miss Kate Cuttables. And if you have any questions or comments, please just leave them down below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. If you would like to see more of my videos, it would make my day to have you as a subscriber. Just click the subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when a new video goes up. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.